Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. And as promised, I wanted to talk to you guys about the holidays. <laughs> um, really just kind of looking for some input from you guys. What do you do for the holidays? For instance, Thanksgiving is just a few days away. You'll be seeing this video on Monday. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get your input because my strategy, if you want to call it that, kind of varies throughout the years. There have been years on Thanksgiving, I plan everything out. I make sure that I have everything pointed, even some treats that I might want. I try to, to limit it to just that day. I always schedule time for a family walk outside after dinner before we clean up and have dessert. And it was always great. There was even one year I remember, I, because of course we're all off that day, or most of us, I should say, not all of us, um, I would pick that day to rake leaves <laughs> in my yard as exercise. So that was kind of a strategy of mine to kind of not lay around or, you know, prepare dinner and make it all about the food. So that's just kind of my thought. Now, there have been years where I just go off the rails where just that one day I eat whatever I want. And of course it begins with breakfast and goes well into dessert. There have been years where I just go off the rails that day into the next day, into the next day. And then it leads to, of course, Christmas and New Year's. And like everyone or most of us, I would get back on January 1st or 2nd, whatever day I chose. Um, and that always kind of was a little bit disastrous, I think, because you've now, or I should say I, have gained some weight during that time and now you're kind of starting over again or you're starting a little bit behind already. So that was not a good strategy in my mind. So I wanted to find a happy medium. So I'd love to hear your comments, um, any ideas you have, what you do to handle the holiday eating, um, even if we just talk about Thanksgiving to start with. So I remember there were, I'm gonna say maybe two or three years ago, Weight Watchers had handed everyone at the meeting a piece of paper and in the middle it was shaped like a plate. And you were supposed to write down how you would split your plate up. So let's say you had three slices of turkey with the skin and you, and you would have to figure out how many points each item was and what your total was. And this was kind of just to make you aware of how many points you were using. It wasn't necessarily to tell you, you know, don't eat too many points at that meal. It was just to make you aware of how many points you were eating. You know, some people I remember in the meeting were shocked by how many points stuffing was and maybe rethink how much of that you might eat if you want to have something else. So that was kind of a great idea, I thought. <clears throat> As most of us do, we all have our favorites. And if you really wanted those, but maybe cut back on some other things that aren't your favorites, that's kind of one way to look at it. Um, like I said, I, I kind of went the gamut. And of course, those times when I said I went off the rails, there was no walk, there was no working out beforehand. There was no getting back on track the next day. It just, I went nuts. Um, and it's really disappointing and, and you feel so sluggish and, you know, um, as I know most women, I'm sure, and I guess there are men too, who you have to kind of clean up. You're not taking a nap after dinner. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more tips and ideas about what you can do for Thanksgiving. I do a lot of cook with me videos, which I love meal in a day videos. So I'd love you to join my family and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you see every time I post a video and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps me out so much. I'm really just starting this journey and 
starting this YouTube journey. And I would love any comments you guys have to make, anything, whether it's about the video, some video ideas you'd like to see, some strategies of weight loss, your accomplishments, your successes, I would love it. And also follow me on Instagram at Cindy's underscore success. I would love it. On there, I usually kind of just post still photos, um, sometimes a preview to what my video will be on that Monday. I always post on Monday mornings at 8 a.m. So you can go there every Monday for a new video. So I would love that. So maybe we could just talk a little more about Thanksgiving. So our family, we make a very traditional turkey, <laughs> um, a traditional stuffing, which I think traditional means it's gonna have the sausage in it and all the good stuff. Um, just typical white bread. Don't go too crazy and do like cornbread. We can't do that. Um, We've added a new little tradition of doing this kind of jello cranberry fruit thing instead of cranberry sauce because none of us are particularly fond of that. So that's a little sugary kind of part to our meal. Um, we always do mashed potatoes. We do gravy. We usually do, well, when I was a kid, we did canned green beans and, and corn, cream corn usually. <laughs> talk about unhealthy. Um, but now we typically do Brussels sprouts. Since I've been married, we've kind of done that. Brussels sprouts with bacon. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's so delicious. So I'm trying to think of what my strategy is going to be this year, how I'm going to handle this. Um, it's a very small gathering this year. We normally, in past years, since we've moved in this new house, We've done Friendsgiving. We have a few neighbors that come over, a few friends. We've had friends who were not from this country who were here working and didn't even know what Thanksgiving was. That was one of, I think we did that two years. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun to kind of explain everything and just a bunch of us getting together. We didn't have furniture yet or anything in the living room, so we kind of opened this up with two big tables and it was so much fun. This year, of course, with the world as it is, we are only having four of us. So I feel like I can kind of be a little more in control of the situation, whether it be what I want to make, although my husband primarily is the cook for Thanksgiving, um, I can even, which I've in past years have been embarrassed to do, I can bring out my measuring cup or weigh out the amount of turkey or whatever it may be. So this is kind of an opportunity to really stay on track. Now I just have to get my mind kind of in sync with that thought process. <laughs> um, so, and I would like to do that walk. Um, just a little backstory. Um, my parents have been divorced for many, many years and they've never really spent a holiday together. And I'm talking over 40 years, they've been divorced. Um, through different circumstances, they're both just by themselves. And this year they're both coming here to me. So it's gonna be me, my husband and my parents, which is, is can be a little bit awkward. Um, I won't get into that, but... Um, they both love to walk, so it's gonna be nice to just kind of take a walk around the block. Um, even if I go with my dad, he can kind of walk a little longer than my mom, come back and do like a little short walk with my mom so we can have some individual time together. So that is a, a big opportunity for me to kind of be on track. Um, I think I will allow myself a splurge. I am making an apple cake instead of apple pie. So I think I'll allow myself to have that splurge, but I think as far as the meal, I can really make this work for me and stay on track. So like I said, I'd love to hear your ideas about that. Um, you know, I, I think every year for many of us is very different. You know, when I was having 20, 25, 30 people in my house, I didn't feel comfortable bringing out my measuring cup during dinner. <laughs> I know we can visualize and different things, 
but, and it was a little more chaotic too. So it was a little harder to do that planned situation. So um, yeah, I would love to hear your ideas, what you do, what your family does, what traditional dishes you make. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm sure other people would love to hear about that. Um, so I'll probably let you know after Thanksgiving how it goes, <laughs> whether it's good or bad, full disclosure. I'm not gonna hide anything from you guys. Um, and again, I would love to hear what you have to say. So if you wouldn't mind, comment below. I'd love to hear it. Um, and I'm sure, like I said, other people would love to hear either ideas, how you feel about it. I know it can be a very emotional holiday for some of us. So any ideas, tips, anything, let me know. I would love it. So again, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love it. I'd love you to join my family. Like I said, I love to cook. I love to do um, what I eat in a day. I love to kind of just sit and chat like I'm doing now. So I would love an interactive kind of situation where you guys, I know we can't talk face to face, but if you comment below and maybe we can get a little discussion started, that would be great. Um, I think I forgot to mention the beginning of the video. I am on WW Blue Plan. So if I ever mention points for things or um, how many points I get per day, that's me on the blue plan, WW Blue Plan. So again, follow me on Instagram at Cindy's underscore success. I would love to see you there. Any comments you want to leave there? Um, like I mentioned before, I do usually just kind of put a still photo up there. Just a little hint about what's coming up, um, any success I've had, any kind of things I feel like putting up there. I do also do photo of the day. It's kind of a, this challenge. I think it's out of Australia and they give you each month, each day of the month, they give you a couple of words and you can post a photo based on those words each day. It's a fun challenge. I do it with my friend at work and we have a lot of fun. Sometimes they're really challenging to come up with ideas of what to post for that day, but it's so much fun. Some of the photos too that you see that other people post are incredible. So that's kind of a little thing I stick on there on my Instagram too. So, so again, I hope to see you there. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.